Please refer to the general startup procedure table B before conducting this experiment. Set hand waft to open and close by referring table B. For experiment 1, we use centrifugal pump. Select pump number 1. Pressure select DPT1. Main power is on. Flow selection is FT1 and speed select is 1. Press the start push button to start the pump and set the motor speed to about 280 rpm using the speed control beside the speed indicator. Open HV2 fully so that the flow rate is at its maximum and record the flow rate once the readings are stable please refer to table 1 repeat step 2 and 4 for the following speed readings of 2600 until 600 rpm as stated in table 1 Record flow rate for each set speed from 2800 until 600 as stated in table 1. For experiment 2, we still use centrifugal pump. Set the motor speed to maximum 2800 rpm using the speed control beside the speed indicator. Set HV2 at full opening, which is 50% of flow rate, so that the output flow rate is maximum and record the reading for the flow rate the differential pressure, the power and speed once the readings are stable. Please refer table 2. Repeat step above with the following flow rate of output from 40% until 10% with decreasing of 10%. The data you have collected will enable you to analyze the characteristic curve as mentioned in lab manual. Before start experiment 3, please turn off the pump power. Adjust the pump select to number 3, pressure select to PT1, flow select FT2, and speed select is number 3. For experiment 3, we use a positive displacement pump. Adjust the potentiometer beside the speed indicator and set the motor speed to its maximum about 1500 rpm for P3. Slowly adjust the HV11 so that the pump heat pressure is at 70%. Record the flow rate once the reading are stable and please refer table number 3. Repeat step above for the following motor speed readings of P3 from 1300 until 400 rpm with decreasing 100 rpm. This data you have collected will enable you to plot the characteristic curve as stated in lab manual. For experiment 4, we use a positive displacement pump, adjust the potentiometer beside the speed indicator, set the motor speed to its maximum about 1500 rpm for P3. 
slowly adjust the HV11 so that the pump head which is pressure is at 70% and record the flow rate, differential pressure, power and speed once the readings are stable. Please refer table 4. Repeat step above with the pump head reading of P3 from 65% until 10% with decreasing of 5%. The data you have collected will enable you to plot the characteristic curve as stated in lab manual.